Good morning, everyone. Well, I cannot tell you how excited I am. We've got a special guest speaker. Poppy has joined us. Now, as you can see, Poppy is a sloth. My question to you is, how many toes has Poppy got? And how many different types of sloth are there? Anyway, Poppy's going to read the story. And you might remember that yesterday we left off with Hassan saying that he was going to tell his own story to the giant. Poppy, whenever you're ready. The man who killed two thieves with a chicken. A farmer overheard two notorious thieves plotting to rob him that very afternoon. Having nothing to rely on but his wits, he quickly rushed home and said to his wife, We're about to be robbed. Cook a meal of lamb and apricots, but don't let anyone see you prepare it. As soon as you're done, hide it away. When the thieves I'm expecting arrive, tell them I'm out in the fields with something precious. The moment they set off to find me, lay the dinner on the table with two extra places. After giving his wife these strange instructions, the farmer took one of the two chickens he kept in a cage in the yard, tied it up in a bag and rushed off into his fields. Sure enough, the thieves turned up a while later and his wife, who by then had cooked and hidden the meal, sent them off after him. When the farmer saw the thieves approaching, he didn't give them a moment to think. Well timed, he called. I was just about to stop work and have a meal. I must send a messenger to my wife to tell her you'll be joining us. What messenger? asked the puzzled thieves, looking about them. You're quite alone here. Alone? I'm most certainly not alone, said the farmer. I have this magic chicken with me. He pulled the chicken from the bag held it to the ground by its neck and instructed it, go and tell my wife to prepare a meal of lamb and apricots for our honoured guests. The moment he let the frightened chicken go, it scrambled off and with a great clucking and flapping of wings vanished over a hedgerow. The thieves thought the farmer quite mad. But when he led them back to the farmhouse, they were astonished. There was the meal exactly like the one he'd ordered waiting for them. The thieves were burning with curiosity about the chicken, and after the meal they asked to see it. Oh, I'll fetch it right away, said the farmer. A few moments later he returned with his second chicken, which to the thieves looked pretty much like the first one. Don't you think it's wonderful having such a fine chicken, he asked, dangling it enticingly before their eyes. Why, sometimes it even lays golden eggs. Aren't you afraid of it being stolen? asked the thieves. Oh, not in the slightest, said the farmer. Anyone who tried to steal this magic chicken would drop down dead immediately. Then how much do you want for it? they asked. Oh, you can have this one as a gift, said the farmer, handing it across to them. I'm sure I can find another, sooner or later. The thieves couldn't believe what a fool the man was. They thanked him and took the chicken off with them, convinced it was worth a fortune. On their way back to town, the thieves started to mistrust one another, each man wanting to have the chicken to himself. I'll hold it. No, I'll hold it. Give it to me. It's mine. And so on. They grew furious, drew knives and began fighting, and soon one of the thieves lay dead, and the other lay groaning on the earth, badly wounded. Go and tell the people in my village I'm dying and need help croaked the surviving thief, taking the chicken from the bag and releasing it. The bird went scurrying off in a panic. The mortally wounded thief waited for the chicken to return with help, but of course it never came back, and all the time blood was running from his wound like water from a tap. Before long he too died, and that's how the farmer killed two thieves with a chicken. Poppy that was beautifully read. Hopefully at some point you'll come back and join us. Bye everyone.